getting a first dose, but now things have opened up. Those 55 and older are eligible to get that vaccine. And, you know, I hate to out you on your age there, Governor Ducey, uh, Governor Doug Ducey. You fit into that category. Uh, you know, you got your first dose today. Thanks for being with us here. Uh, how'd it go? Uh, it was great, Troy. Thank, thanks for uh, having me on. And yes, I am older than 55. <laughs> I fit into this category. So I would say it was pain free. I have no after effects. And we know that the vaccine is effective. It's safe and it's free. So I really want to encourage everyone 55 years old and older to please go get this vaccine. So we opened it up to a, a new um, group of people. Uh, just I think it was just today, wasn't it? Or maybe it was yesterday to 55 plus. We had some 50,000 appointments uh, that were booked up, I think within like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Are you surprised at this demand? I mean, that's a good sign, isn't it? It's a great sign. We opened it up yesterday. The announcement went out March 1st. 50,000 appointments booked today. The website was just hit by hundreds of thousands of people that want this vaccine. So that's a good sign. We have demand. We've got State Farm Stadium where the Arizona Cardinals and J.J. Watt play. And I want to say thank you so much to Michael Bidwell for opening that up. We've got Phoenix Municipal Stadium. We've got the Chandler Gilbert Community College. And we've opened up at U of A in Tucson as well. And these sites are really humming. The volunteer are phenomenal. The vaccinators are out there. The weather is perfect and the line really moves. So when you talk about uh, 50,000 appointments being taken up in that amount of time, obviously a ton of demand that's not being met right now. When are we going to get enough vaccine, in your opinion? I know you're on the front lines of this every day that will <laughs> supply this demand. We're hitting the federal government every day, and we're having direct conversations with Pfizer and the other manufacturers. Now, we did get good news from Washington, D.C., that says we're going to have more supply than we have demand in the very near future. But right now, demand is, is huge, and it really is in this 55 and older, 45 and older, which we're several weeks away from expanding it another decade younger. But we're going to simplify the process. We're going to speed up the vaccinations. We're going to have more supply in more locations, including Walgreens and CVS. All the information is at ArizonaHealth.gov, and we'll be giving regular updates along the way. So President Biden, you just alluded to this, made an announcement today that he's going to have enough vaccine for all Americans by the end of May. Do you foresee us getting shots in, in the arms of every Arizonan who wants one in that time frame, uh, you know, before the summer starts? That's the goal. That's the objective. We want, we want everyone that wants this vaccine to be able to get this vaccine. We want it to be safe and easy. And of course, it's free. And that's why when you hear about these mass vaccination sites and the tens of thousands of vaccinations that we can do in, in a day inside our state, we're going to continue to ramp it up as long as we can get the supply. The sooner we get all that here, the faster that we protect people and protect their families. That's the best thing that they can do. The faster we bring all the jobs back, which we've been very good at so far, and the faster we have every kid sitting in a classroom safely with a teacher at the front of that classroom. All right, let me hit you with that. I know you met with some superintendents. I believe it was today. Uh, what was discussed? Are you completely confident? I, I say a couple of questions for you here. You had talked about trying to catch some of these kids up. I don't want to call it a lost year, uh, but I've got two university students I know who had a real issue with some of their online learning this year. Are we going to try to catch kids up this summer? And are you totally confident that we're going to have everybody in the classroom this fall? I'm totally confident that we're going to have everybody in a classroom that wants to be in a classroom. And there's still a lot of fear out there. So we will provide options to people that might have an underlying health condition or if the variants aren't all under control. But I believe we're going to be much closer to normal. I think we're going to be normal or closer to normal inside our schools in the next several weeks. So we want kids back in school. We want them there safely. And there was another part to your question there. I want to make sure I address it. Troy. Yeah, I just want to know if we're going to be able to catch these kids up because you had talked about, I think we had talked about it on AZAM when you were on one time, that you know some of these kids weren't able to uh, be where they need to be with the online learning. So are we going to try to catch them up with some summer school? 
We, we have to catch them up. We just talked with superintendents today. We found in, in some settings a child that's been inside a classroom is, is three and a half times further ahead in terms of skills mastery. Wow. So we have to focus on summer school, after school learning, resources directly to one-on-one -on -one instruction, and we really want to go where we have the achievement gap, where, where kids have fallen behind. It is really a unique and special kid that's been able to keep up and catch up when they've been online. So we want to get them in the classroom and then make sure we've got the additional hours, resources, personnel, and staff to get them caught up. That's a top priority. You know, how great would it be in the future, Governor, to be able to say, yeah, we got everybody caught up and it's almost like this year of learning, you know, happened like it was normal. And one last question for you. Are we going to be able to, to pack into State Farm Stadium there and see J.J. Watt's first game? I mean, what do you think with the Cardinals? What's your gut tell you? I believe, you know, if you think preseason normally starts late August, what we're hearing from the, the White House is that we're going to have all the supply of vaccine available in, in May. I really like our chances. And it, it's hard to use the word sellout right now because <laughs> uh, you're, you're talking about 60 plus thousand people right. but of course that's the objective that that's where we're going to get in this in this year that 2021 was going to be the year of the vaccine last year's the year of the virus that's where we want to be if it's going to be in that first game or if it's going to be several down there is yet to be determined but no i want to get there as fast as safely possible how fun to have the red sea out there again governor uh, thanks again for talking with us glad you got your vaccine today and, and thanks for all you and your team are doing to get these vaccines into Arizonans' arms. Thank you, Troy. Nice talk.